Hey guys, welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. We have some battles to fight still, or at least one, to the second battle of Bull Run, or Manassas, if you want it named that way. We still got $17,000 and 26,000 men. Now I'm going to reduce my supplies here quite a lot. And I'm gonna sell some stuff I have acquired over time. Some farmers, some reboard farmers. The other weapons I will keep. Oh, we still have some some sharps and JF Browns. We have other weapons we will need in the end. Here we have a load of six pounder fields and twelve pounder howitzers that we will sell. So now we have some money. And this means I am able to arm some of my units to a higher level. So these Lawrence I'll exchange for Harpers Ferry rifles, which is quite expensive. I have to admit. And these go to... Lomax? Nah, Hansen. Hansen gets Lawrence like yes, rifles. And in the next step, we need one more infantry brigade here. Commanded by Chris Lindsay. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice. Still have 42,000 left, which is not enough to arm my other Lawrence Rifle armed unit here uh, with Harper's Ferries and to get them here. And I fear I don't have enough rifles available in the shop, for example, Enfields. No, I don't. I have 690, uh, 649 left here. I wish we would capture some Mississippi rifles. These are quite okay. But for now, we will go into battle. So, the correspondence says... They have lost the Battle of Cattle Run. Well, actually, I did it auto destroy them. They get some additional recruits. We now have the Battle of Thoroughfare Gap where uh, Jackson's left wing is under threat to be trapped north of Manassas at Stony Ridge and yeah Longstreet is trying to join forces with Jackson and so I have to destroy Jackson before this is possible uh, though Thoroughfare Gap isn't this battle. Um, that is actually here. Second bull run, sorry. <laughs> Thoroughfare Gap is now the operation to delay Longstreet's advance or even halt it before he can join forces with Jackson. So let's see how we fare, but I think even my, well, not that good second corps and the command of Ulysses S. Grant should be able to halt these troops of the rebels. Alright, second core. Quite strong, 20 units. Alright. Ah, no. No skirmishes here in this battle and no cavalry. Axima Palmetto, Springfield, 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 Hanson, Lawrence, Upton, and Palmetto is nice. Okay. I know my left flank is the most exposed, so my best weapons go to this side. And one okay unit. Mm, 
Then we take another infantry unit. So we have four infantry units here for this side. Here we have 10 powder ordnance rifles and a Pratt. And six powder fields and a Logan. These will start here, move around the small forest and take up positions here between our forces. All right, let's go then. Uh, if you wonder why I will risk my artillery here so much, um, as I said earlier, uh, my artillery units are too big. They have 16 guns and this is inefficient. 12 guns is the most efficient unit size for artillery batteries and 13 would give them an additional edge so they could keep up their fire for quite some time before losing efficiency. So the first gun loss wouldn't be that important. And so I will deploy my artillery in a quite risky way to ensure they lose actually some guns, <laughs> or at least men. Chapman takes up positions here. And we keep Grant in this area where the supplies move down here. Let's go. The idea here is to keep my units in a distance that allows them to hit the enemy while he is still in the river. Let's advance a little bit further and he is in completely open terrain. Now we place the artillery units inside my infantry units. Burning stop. Okay, so this flank is covered for now. You guys take up positions here. Nice. Let's see where the enemy tries to cross the river. Actually, in this scenario, the AI surprised me quite often because sometimes uh, it decides to push over here and through the river, actually threatening to completely annihilate my left flank. Oh, right flank, sorry, we are looking down from the north. And in other cases, he pushes straight through the center, which wrong-footed me quite some times, and uh, in other uh, battles he pushed through here and almost rooted my units here on my left flank, so yeah, it's impressive for the AI, impressively unpredictable. And I like it a lot, exactly for this reason. Okay, artillery batteries are moving into position. Woods Division spotted, attacking through the center. There was another unit, it seems. There, Longstreet himself is on the field. Question is, where are they pushing through? Ooh, long Street is on a heavy artillery fire here. Uh 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 uh, turn the, the guns around. 
and cease fire for now. One division, uh, one brigade is here. And see here, he's trying to push on my left flank. Not so much through the center. Here we have skirmishes. Another unit of skirmishes. It is rooted. Hansen has Lawrence rifles, so he should be able to keep enemy skirmishes at bay. Enemies pushing through here could be a problem. Logan under counter, uh, counter battery fire. Skirmishes rooted. Another unit of skirmishes pushing through there. Guns around a bit. Come on, guys, cross the river, cross the river. Enemy spotted for a short time again. Did you actually retreat there? Oh, now he's messing on my right flank. A left flank, sorry, god damn it, we are standing in the north. Seems the AI noticed how strong my position is here. We're catching some skirmishes now to get a better look at the enemy forces here. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's actually retreating here on this side. He noticed how strong I am there and is now trying to push on the other side. What? No, Logan! Cease! 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 Stop! Fire! Messing here on my left flank now. Skirmishes probing here again. Banning here has retreated. Seems to be quite unsure how to advance until now. Hood has shown himself. Hood's brigade here, Drayton advancing there. Logan has lost one gun for now. He's now trying to attack the center. Oh! Rebel Yell. Wilcox advancing. Guys, 
Yeah, hammer is flank. Yeah, Logan isn't that effective, sadly. Roy Pratt was killed. Oh, the battery commander. Damn it. Oh, that's sad. Well, there are enough lieutenant colonels at the moment. Should retreat threat now. He attracted enough fire. 13 guns is perfect. not advancing with all of his units, otherwise I could get under quite some pressure there, but he doesn't do it for whatever reason. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, I always forget about this unit. Maybe this was what the enemy was waiting for. Chapman, intercept the enemy. Cease fire, advance further into the forest. Better cover here. That did not work out the way the enemy wanted to. Preston hit the enemy hard here. Jenkins is now charging. Grand, this is a rather fresh unit here, Chapman. Damn it, no. Oh, Grant, shit, 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 shit. They almost got Grant there. Enemy is rooted. Axima charging the enemy there. Oh, damn it, Pret is taken. Further losses. What the hell is he doing there? Well, this was a nice move. And potentially quite disastrous for me. The hood needs too long. Hexama was killed. Damn it. Heavy officer losses here.
damn it. There he comes. There he comes. That's a fake charge. Bernie is breaking. Bernie is breaking. Damn it. Fred, retreat. He got me there. What a chaos, utter chaos. Capo forced him back there. Upton, keep up. Capo. Return, 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 return. Anson. Ooh. What utter chaos. Wilcox surrendered, actually. enemy artillery battery was almost destroyed there. Pratt moving up. Wow! Now this is maneuver warfare here. Upton, don't let him rest. Chapman. Holy crap, all battle. And again, this was a battle going down in a way I never expected. Really, never did expect this. What a chaos. Lomax, keep them on the run. Banning, surrendered. Bernie, support them there to capture this brigade. Logan out of ammo. Wilcox, retreat now. Ah, damn it. Wrong position for Wilcox. Come on, Chapman. Another nice salvo there. He's running low on ammo now. Reload those rifles. Oh no, these are muskets actually. Holy crap, what a salvo. And 
and law captured. Wow. Leaves only hood. Behind me. Okay, guys, pushing up. Hansen is getting hammered there. Hansen was wounded, damn it! But we won the battle already. Axima, push over to this side. Might action put a horrific salvo into the enemy here. Yeah, he did so. Hood go. There he is. Oh, they were destroyed. <laughs> I think, yeah, this unit was destroyed. So many officer losses, that's quite devastating. I'm finishing this battle. His units are utterly devastated. Hammering the enemy here, Capel. Move around the flank. Hood is done for. Ooh, Hansen took a bit hit, a big hit there by the enemy artillery pieces. Damn it, Hansen is taking far too many losses. Finally rooting. Yeah, just let them shoot until the enemy is down.
Okay, one artillery unit knocked out entirely. Ooh, Frobo. Almost dying to Hansen's uh, rifle fire there. Logan moving guns up, Pratt same. Enemy destroyed. <laughs> Some of these enemy's units are actually as good as dead. Not any real problem anymore. Logan, load up. I'm thrilled what guns these guys had in the end. That might be very interesting because he is shooting back quite well, but his close combat was rather weak, which surprised me a lot. Ah, I forgot to look it up on the captured unit. What weapons they had. Could have looked it up there. Let's finish this battle. This unit was destroyed. No more supplies. Hansen took the brunt of the battle, but did quite well. Lomax not that much though. supplies guns are taking up positions Don't destroy the supplies! It's a 
supply surrendered, Jenkins surrendered, and that's it. Wow. <laughs> 3,000 captured enemies. Lost 7 guns and 196 artillerymen, just as planned. Lost 2,600 infantrymen. That's okay. If we take a look at the Confederate losses, 10,845. Very nice. 20,000 against 15,000, and he lost his entire force to the last man. Actually, I didn't see General Longstreet anywhere, so <laughs> later in the battle at least. So maybe he even was killed or forced from the field. All goals fulfilled. Hansen did nice, but lost quite some men. Upton did extremely well. Birney the same. Preston, Hexham, Chapman, yeah. Capel not so much. Pratt, yes. Lomax, ah, okay. And Logan very well. Captured quite some units there. Sadly, I lost three officers. Roy Pratt died during the battle. Manuel Hexima, Brigadier General, died, and Jason Hansen was wounded. We captured a few Springfields, quite some Palmettos, oh, some Sharps, some 12 pounder Howitzers, MJ and G Type 2, some Mississippi rifles. There we have the reason for their strong high distance fighting capabilities. We rescued some in the Lawrence and oh they had Napoleons to the 12 pounder howitzers. Very nice. 707 supplies captured. Not that much left in the end. But money is money. We get the Union Officer Medal for this battle. Nice. 1000 additional recruits, 150,000, one career point and plus four reputation. Very nice. The career point I will apply actually to Madison for this battle because the next battle is second bull run and there we will need it to reinforce our most likely quite battled and depleted veteran units from the first corps. And uh, the other two points will go into training most likely. So for now it's Madison so we won't lose as many. I think I keep these points. I would have loved to buy these Harper's Ferries but just not having enough points. Yeah, That's alright because my low reputation already has no moral effect and the more you have the more uh, I think at 25 you lose morals, uh, moral points for your units. At least at 20 you lose moral points. 27 is okay because I don't lose any morale and I gain it. I don't gain any. So, which commanders do we have available? Pratt. Oh, damn it. Not as many as I thought I have. Now oh, this is bad. I can't exchange you guys, huh? No, I can't. So we actually have to recruit one of these. Winfield Hancock. That's alright. We lose morale now. Yeah, moral penalty minus one. Minus one. That's okay. And for this, this general Winfield Hancock now commands the yes, unit sir. of Hansen, who is wounded. There you go, guys. Yes, Hexama, commanded by Krianowski for now. Yes, these are the semi-elite units of that core. Pret. And 13 guns now. Logan. Stays as he is, but he gains 12 pound on Napoleons for the next battle. Good is alright. Oh, Baxter already has a colonel. Or well, is a colonel. Now, let's reinforce some units here. And 
Nice. Very well done. Didn't cost me any real money here. That's nice. Let's take a look at the armory. Not enough Mississippis for a complete unit. We have quite some weapons in, s in our depot. Actually, arm. Um... Oh, no Harper's Ferry and Mail available. <laughs> So we take this. This means we can arm um, Hancock now. No, we can't. Krzyczanowski gains Lawrence rifles. Lomax palmettos. You get palmettos. Oh, yes, we still God. have some palmettos, and these go to Preston's unit. Very nice. Now let's take a look. Any more new weapons available for the cavalry or such? Nope. Nothing. Lots of nice weapons here, but not until the next battle. They give them out. Possibly to some of these units. worked quite nicely. I like this battle. Okay, I hope you liked it too, as chaotic as it was. And that's it for today. Next time we are in Manassas fighting the second battle of Bull Run. If you enjoyed this video, please consider it. Consider to like it, sorry. Consider to like it or leave a comment and probably show it to some friends and I hope I see you again with the next video. Goodbye and as always, for us and the Allfather.